Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So today we're going to be doing my last 4th of July project, and I really hope y'all enjoy this. It just popped in my head and I decided I wanted to make this, and we'll see how it goes. So stick with me, we're about to get started. So. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you everything you need for this project. So you're going to be needing these garden stake trucks. There's two of them. These are 4th of July designs. We need two of them for this project. I made mine match. Y'all don't have to if y'all don't want to. I just like my stuff to match. You're going to be needing a wooden square. These I got from Dollar Tree. There was about six in a pack. You need one of those. You're going to need some small screws. You're going to be needing a drill. Of course, you're going to need a screwdriver, and I forgot to mention that in my list online. But of course, you're going to need a screwdriver if you're going to have screws. You're going to need some 4th of July napkins. Hold on, y'all. All right, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I charged my phone, but it didn't want to charge. So like I said, some kind of 4th of July napkin. You're going to need a drill. I think I said that. I can't remember. <clears throat> you're going to need one of these two-pack shelves from Dollar Tree. You're only going to use one of these, so you're going to need that. You're going to need some dowels, wooden dowels, rods. I got these from Walmart, and these are the ones you want to get their 3 8 inch diameter. You're going to want those. You're going to need a... Um, you need miter shears or something to cut the dowels with. Scissors, of course. I think I'm going to use these. I have an idea, but we'll see how it goes. These are um, cupcake picks. They're flags. I got these from Walmart on clearance, as you can see. You're going to need Mod Podge. And white glue. So you're going to need both, I mean, white, white paint. So you're going to need both of these for this project. And then you're going to need glue. I'm using flex glue, and I'm also going to be using hot glue to help hold the stuff in place while the flex glue hardens. So that is everything needed for this project, so let's get started. I'm sorry, y'all, I forgot. You're going to need spackle also, which I did not put on the list because I always forget I don't know why but when I use these I always forget you gotta spackle the holes I don't know what's wrong why I can never remember that and you're gonna need a paintbrush so all right y'all let's get to it the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spackle these holes of course we don't want any of these holes. We don't need them. We're not going to be using them for this project. If we were going to be using them, you can keep them, but. And yes, I know it's weird that I said you're going to be drilling holes, but you're not going to keep the holes that are already there. So. But they're in the wrong spot. So. We're going to let this dry. And while we're letting it dry, we're going to paint our little square white. All right, so we're gonna paint our square white. And I'm doing this because I just think it makes it look cleaner and the fact that it'll make the rest of the stuff pop. If you do white, that is my reasoning for the color I picked. I will also tell y'all, y'all can do what y'all wanna do. This is a 4th of July one. If y'all wanna do uh, red or blue, y'all can. Y'all can even leave it natural. I just felt this is what was needed for this. So. We're going to paint the whole thing, sides, top and bottom. And we're going to do it for 
both of the shell the wood um of course you gotta let the other one dry because it is um i forgot what it's called oh hold on um spackled it's been spackled i'm sorry word just would not come and i'm also gonna tell y'all if y'all want to y'all can definitely um it'll come to me sand that's that's what i'm looking for y'all can sand them if y'all want to also in case there's any rough edges so we're gonna let that dry of course once the spackle dries you are gonna have to sand that down so you could just sand the whole thing so now we're also gonna paint this white that's the next step so let's get to it and get this done y'all So, like I said, I picked white. Y'all do not have to do white. Y'all can do whatever color y'all like. The, all this, when we're doing this, you're supposed to be having fun and being creative. So put your own twist on it. Make it the way you like it. I just I don't know like I said I just think it makes it look cleaner I could be very wrong on that but to me it makes it look cleaner and then that way you know the colors match you can also do um, <clears throat> excuse me stain you can stain the wood the same color so there are several different ways you could probably do this got stuck all right so we're gonna let that dry all right y'all now that they're dry <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna try something I haven't done before I don't know if it'll work but we're gonna give it a try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to tape these two pieces together. And to make it work, I'm gonna try to drill through both of them. So let's see if it works. Because the bottom one is thicker than the top one, I'm going to have to use a longer screw just to make sure it goes all the way through the wood plus into the dowel. So, I'm going to use a, sorry I'm dropping everything, a 1, 1 16 drill bit and we're going to go from there. right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill
where I want it to be. And I think that's fine. So we're gonna move on to the next step now. So I just wanna show you this. You need to take the steak off of the back of this. And I don't want to break my thing, so let's see how we do this. It's glued on there, so I'm just trying to work the glue off. If I can. Or if that doesn't work, which comes to show, we'll do it a different way. Now it wants to come out because I'm trying to break it. <laughs> of course. That one came right out. So you want to do that before you move on to the next step. Alright. So let's move on to the next step. Now I don't want to actually glue these on until I finish this part. Sorry, I'm gonna do this the right way. So, I don't want it too high up, but I did want it to go over the truck. So, let's say about right here. Let me measure that, see how long that is. That is almost five inches. If you want to go a little bit higher and do it at five inches, you can. So, let me see where this is at. It's on the right there. So like I said, you can do it at five inches if you want. It's not a huge deal. So, let's move on to the cutting of the dowel. So you're going to want to mark it like I said. And you just want to cut it. And I really hope I did this right. Yep, they're the same height. So that is that step. Now we're going to move on to the actual Screwing it into this. Oh, we gotta drill this. I'm sorry. We're not moving on to the. Okay, so you wanna drill a hole in each end. And you don't wanna go too far down because the screws aren't that long. to the screwing of the screwing it all together oh wait now I'm sorry y'all I'm skipping steps because I'm forgetting <laughs> now that you've done this we're gonna mod podge it with the napkin I completely forgot about that step it almost didn't happen so let's get on to that all right, once you separate the white part of the napkin from the front, the back from the front, you're going to take and I'm 
gonna do five inches. I'm gonna mark it to make it easier. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do from here. You're gonna cut out the nap part of the napkin for the cut. Uh, that you're gonna use for it. And like I said, I'm gonna go five inches, which is a little bit taller than what I use. So, I'm sorry y'all. I got the air on in here because it's hot. So that's done. I'm gonna do two of them because there are two dowels. So let me see how far I did this. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta do something, and then everything wants to move. Uh, My husband texted me. Hey, give me a second. I can push the button. Alright, now on to the Mod Podge. So, to do this, I have to go all the way around. completely cover it with Mod Podge and then we're going to take the napkin and then we're just going to roll it up in it. And then we'll cut off all the extra We don't need it. Give me a second, y'all. All right, now that they're both done, we gotta let them dry. And once they're dry, we can move on to the next step, which will be attaching them to these two boards. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next step now that they are dry. And that is adding the screws. I'm sorry. Can't find them. Go. Give me a second. I lost one of the screws. There it is. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna.
We're going to screw in screws and get them ready. Now you do not have to do it this way. You can just glue it. I should have mentioned that. If you do not want to do the screws, just add glue. Or sorry, just glue them down. I'm using the screws just to make it more, give it more support. So. We're just doing it like this. And this will tighten it on there. Sorry, this is so now the next part is adding these screws. So you're just going to put them in here a little ways because you're going to have to do this part different because you can't twist it around like you could at the bottom. So you're going to line the screws up with the holes. I got a little crooked, but that's fine. I'm not perfect at this. It doesn't really matter if it's straight or not. The whole point is just the way it's going to look. So there you go. It's pretty sturdy. Now the next step is going to be attaching these to it. just as decoration purposes so one's gonna be the back and the other will be 
the front it's not a big deal I would prefer to both be in the back but I mean it is what it is okay I just gotta see how I'm gonna do it let me do that first but oh well First. I don't know why I did that. Just gotta add the glue. You know, this used to come out so easy, and now I have nothing but trouble with it. <laughs> but I still like using this glue. Because I just feel like... It sticks really good once it's on there. See if I get this to work. So, let's do the next side. Okay, let's see if this works, shall we? It's off camera because I don't have a lot of room and I really don't want to move this if I don't have to. Okay. So we just gotta let it dry now. It's supposed to be doing that, but you know, sometimes it does what it wants. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, we just gotta let it dry and see how it works. Alright y'all, we're almost finished with it. Like I said, I'm still gonna have to let it dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Put this on there as soon as I figure out how to open it. Now, I'm just going to take my little thing and I want to glue it to the back of the truck um, where the door is. I'm gonna do that on both sides and then I'll turn around so you can see it. I just really don't want I just really didn't want to move the thing right now. The while it's drying. Give me a second, I will move it regardless. <laughs> right. I'm going to take the camera down and show y'all. Hold on a second. Alright, as you can see, I put the... Um... Flag, sorry. Right where I put those, that's where I wind them. And as you can see... As soon as it dries, it'll be ready to put stuff on it for the holidays. For the 4th. Sorry. I just hate when these little things get on. Okay, give me a second. Alright, y'all. Before I 
conclude this video there's one more thing I forgot to mention I did these like this the sticks because I wanted them to be reminiscent of like a Roman candle you know firework and I just wanted an extra layer for the to put stuff but that is what these sticks were supposed to be they're supposed to be reminding you of like a firework all right y'all all right y'all that's it for today's video and I had so much fun making this even though I had some difficulties we will see how it comes out when it is done and completely dry I hope y'all enjoyed this video also please 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 do not forget to comment on a craft you would like to see me make for a chance to win my gift box that I'm gonna be giving out for my two-year anniversary on this channel so again thank y'all for sticking in I mean tuning in I'm sorry and if you did like this video please 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 like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow all right I'll see y'all next time bye